Of course, we continue to track Milton as it's about to make landfall near the Sarasota area. Uh, let's get you a live view tonight over St. Petersburg. Really gnarly there. Florida is bracing for Milton to make landfall at any moment. Storm expected to make landfall within the next hour or two. This comes only weeks after Hurricane Helene hit the area. With the active hurricane season, one of our viewers, Alexi, is wondering why can't a hurricane form on Lake Michigan? That's the question Chief Meteorologist Ellen Baca is answering in this week's Ask Ellen. We've been seeing so much in the way of hurricanes lately, and so this is a great question. Why can't we see hurricanes form on Lake Michigan? Well, let's start with maybe the first reason, and the first reason is that hurricanes are just so huge. They're so huge. They're much bigger than even Lake Michigan, but if we look at what hurricanes need as a requirement to form and just look at Lake Michigan, we can see how many variables it meets. So the first one, hurricanes need water of 79 degrees or greater. We rarely see that here on Lake Michigan, especially through a depth and especially through a wide area of the lake. So that's an instant no. That pretty much limits any hurricane development. The second need for a hurricane, you need to be at least five degrees away from the equator. Hey, we are. We're in the 40s in terms of our latitude. So that one we actually do meet. The third, we need a saturated air mass. So just a ton of water. And we really just don't have that here. Not over, not just over Lake Michigan, but over Michigan in general. Frequently, we have a lot of dry air. Little to no wind, that's another requirement. And it's pretty breezy here in the mid-latitudes. Even if it's calm at the surface for a day, it usually picks up in intensity. So that limits and kills a lot of hurricane development. And that would definitely kill any development that tried over Lake Michigan. We lastly need a tropical wave. And of course, we don't have that. We don't live in the tropics. Now, something that looks like a hurricane but is not a hurricane, something called a mesolo. We can actually see that over Lake Michigan frequently, especially in the cool season. So if we spot one of these mini hurricanes with a little burst of wind, we'll be the first to let you know.